Yeah, the latest milestones. Uh, in last uh, October, November, we founded uh, Print France with uh, Pierre Saint-Michel as CEO. We start with uh, three people, now we are five people, very successful uh, new customers like saint Gabon, IPH, um, uh, new partners like Decade with uh, 10 uh, trained consultants. So uh, we found it uh, in, in France, started very successfully and uh, Pierre Saint-Michel is also responsible for, uh, for the southern European countries like Spain, Italy and so uh, we improve uh, uh, our visibility uh, in the southern European uh, markets. Uh, that's the first one and then uh, November uh, we decided that we go to Japan uh, with Wataru and uh, so in, so in uh, February this year we founded um, uh, Print Japan and um, all uh, already uh, Japanese customers uh, together with uh, Informatica, Epson, uh, creating a publishing platform worldwide, so great uh, success also in Japan. Uh, now the challenge to uh, build up a, a team of consultants uh, and so on. And then we restructured uh, Print Americas with Jonathan as the CEO and uh, do a restart and um, get much more customers like uh, Trek, um, Thermo Fisher, uh, InfoVerity uh, gets the preferred uh, premium partner, uh, big premium uh, enterprise solution partners with uh, 20 uh, trained consultants. So also in, uh, in US uh, we, have a, we have a good approach and a good development. Uh, yes, uh, it, uh, the, our big enterprise partners follow this uh, development, but uh, more in the region. So, for example, Osudio, uh, uh, one uh, big enterprise partner for EMEA, uh, located in Spain, Netherlands, Belgium, uh, four locations in Germany. So, uh, or like Graficon, they, uh, they go, uh, go now to UK as a uh, partner starting from Germany. So, uh, yes, enterprise partners uh, go with us to the globalization, um, to the globalization. And uh, on the other hand, if you are looking on InfoVerity, InfoVerity uh, decided as an uh, American uh, enterprise solution partners going to Europe, uh, in Spain. So. Uh, and uh, the same with Digital Consulting House, uh, also a partner which is located uh, in Detroit, uh, in, in, in Germany. Uh, with Digital Consulting House we do now a, a project Unico uh, in Belgium, so we have also, and also with Avato Systems, uh, global, uh, global partners which can deliver uh, print know-how uh, in several continents. That's a very good question. Uh, <laughs> of course, um, I guess that, um, that the next uh, that the next level is that we have to uh, integrate uh, offline and online touch points in a better way, so that we uh, that we supported the customer journey uh, through all touch points in a better way, and that. Um, uh, of course, uh, the first the the first task of the offline touch points is uh, to bring the customers uh, to the online devices to the transaction uh, of buying. But in in other uh, in other ways, we see new scenarios that we say from uh, e-commerce website maybe um, the customer wants to create a uh, a print uh, document because he needs this for his last decision. Uh, so the playing the game between offline and online touch points it's really a massive uh, new requirement. That's a part of the print new school. Of course we have the old print with the catalogs uh, also very important for the customer journey but we have also a new kind of print which is more on demand, more personalized. Um, 
and that's very um, that's very exciting for uh, customers for us to uh, to reinvent uh, print and uh, bring uh, bring print in a new way in a better way to the customer journey. Yes, um, the multi-domain strategy. Um, um, this is one. Uh, the reason is that we uh, that we have the situation if we want to support the the whole customer uh, journey, uh, and if you're looking maybe on the B2B uh, sector, uh, you want to make a, a, a offer and you 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 have to bring uh, more detailed information, uh, product information to your offer. That's a typical uh, ERP process, but uh, to send the offer, that's a touch point. And typically not uh, in the part of this uh, classical uh, customer journey. So, but if we want to send the offer and we have to bring uh, product information to this offer, maybe more in a flexible way, and more in a uh, em emotional way, that's for us. Uh, a typical print touch point, maybe we create, generate only the PDF uh, that we uh, add to the uh, offer additional product information. And so that's our ERP process and so we have to integrate the ERP to the publishing process. Uh, of course, uh, if you're looking on the multi-channel story and the uh, PIM systems, uh, many of the print touch points like catalogs, uh, leaflets and so on are integrated in the PIM process and uh, in the, uh, integrated in the PIM system. But we have many other uh, touch offline touch points which um, makes more sense to integrate this in ERP systems, CRM systems. Um, and uh, if you're looking on the future of print, one of these uh, big changes is that uh, print and the offline uh, communication gets more editorial because in the online touch points you get the right information every time in a very uh, current no, uh, uh, updated information uh, in the, by a mobile or by the uh, website. Um, but if you want to print someone, then you bring uh, product information uh, with uh, editorial information uh, that, that the customers uh, lean back, read this information, it gets the inspiration to go to the online touch points. And for this, to merge product communication, it's coming from the PIM system, with more editorial system, which uh, uh, content which coming from the CMS system, that's also one uh, big challenge, and that's the reason that we say, okay, we with our publishing hub, we integrate the product data from the PIM system uh, uh, with the editorial information from the CMS system, and so we bring content which is created for the website. We bring this in the offline process. Um, um, another, uh, other domain, of course, is marketing resource management system, multi-channel uh, campaign management system, which obviously uh, print is a, a very important part. And to integrate these uh, domains with the PIM domain to doing uh, database-driven publishing, it's also a part of our multi-domain strategy. Yes, uh, that's, uh, that was the reason, one of the reasons that we uh, uh, built up uh, in the 4.0 uh, architecture, the publishing hub, the middleware to integrate uh, different kinds, several data, uh, data systems uh, to integrate this on a layer, on a, on a hub to, to have the data for, for the publishing, if this print or digital publishing. Um, Yes, and um, we have the ability to uh, create connectors and uh, some of the connectors are built by our partners, so we have a wide bench of uh, connectors, I guess uh, currently 30 connectors, which can uh, connect to uh, totally different systems and that's a part of our architecture and uh, strategy. Of course, we, are, uh, we have many features on our roadmap, to more uh, to have a better integration between different data sources, we uh, add uh, new context uh, criteria like target group markets publications to this middleware that we um, that we can do uh, personalized one-to-one uh, -one publications based on this uh, middleware. So uh, yes, 
the new the new uh, functionality uh, targets the uh, in the, uh, the personalization of uh, data. Yes, this is one of the big uh, big challenges and one of the future. Um, <laughs> if you're looking on uh, digital printing, digital printing it's also a digital, uh, digital technology. Uh, and if you are looking on the development of the cost of each copy, of each print copy, uh, these costs uh, decreases. Uh, the question is cost uh, per copy to uh, related to the uh, conversion rate. So if we, uh, if we have the cost for a catalog, maybe today we can, uh, we can print it 100 uh, a catalog in a, with 100 copies in, with a good price. And then if we send uh, to our target group a well-designed editorial uh, driven uh, product catalog, uh, with his products he, he expected. Maybe this information comes from the big data uh, uh, that we say, okay, our expectation, what the uh, customer needs are these 100 products and we generate a, a print catalog and we combine this with the emotion of a print catalog and bring this to the customer. It's only the question of the conversion rate, uh, if this is a good or a bad idea. And so that the cost of uh, per copy decreases, I see a great chance also for the uh, print industry uh, to bring added value in the customer journey. Uh, and if we are talking about digital publishing, yes, then we can do this one-to-one uh, -one in a digital way, maybe on the tablet, on the iPhone.